Hi everybody, my name is Doug Wilson, and this is Yellow Hawk Customs Outdoors, Yellow Hawk Custom Kydex. Um, this is going to be another sheath system video. Um, now this sheath system is probably eight, eight months old, okay? And I want to show it again a little more comprehensively, um, because I showed it again, I don't know, three weeks, a month ago, I can't remember, um, on the Facebook page, and... I think it was it might have been yeah it was on the facebook page i'm pretty sure um and i'm getting questions about it again okay so i figure i do another you know a dedicated video on the yellow hawk customs piggyback quick clip system okay so here it is all right so if you guys stay tuned i'm going to tell you about this system and please don't go away yet. We'll see you in a few seconds. <laughs> So, the Yellow Hawk Customs Outdoors Piggyback Quick Clip System, okay? Um, I don't know, about a year ago, I brainstormed, okay? Um, because I had a guy who wanted a piggyback system, right? But he really wanted to be able to remove it quickly and be able to put it on his belt or hang it from his neck or whatever, okay? He wanted versatility, okay? So, I tried, hold on for a second. Let me see if I can find it. I don't know if you guys remember it, but I tried that box clip, right, before I came up with this. And this one here, just it just didn't do it for me. This is the one where I had put it on the, uh, the front of the sheet like this, and the piggyback, you know, clipped into it, slid into it, right? Well, this, this system here just didn't do it for me. It wasn't secure enough. Um, every time I would like drop the sheet because I do testing every time I come up with something or I find a new idea or whatever I, I test it right to make sure it's going to work for you guys in the field Without fail, okay, and that one I would drop the sheet and every third drop The sheet would pop off of that that housing, okay, so you know I thought about it, it The other thing about that is you need a really wide sheet to put it on so it's not as versatile as I wanted, okay? Um, I mean, the sheath has to be wide, and my sheaths by nature are not wide. Um, having a special ops background, I, I'm always concerned with, you know, tactical, lightweight, but strong and functional, right? They, that's like my mantra, right? Lightweight, strong, functional. For the guys who are in the military, um, I go the tactical route for you guys, but still lightweight and functional and strong, right? So it just didn't cut it for me. Um, plus, it was just too big of an assembly, too big. Um, and I needed something that I could use on a variety of different sizes of sheaths. So I came up with the clip, quick clip, okay? And it's real easy. It's pretty, it's pretty innocuous looking. You can't even see it right now, right? But it's very strong, very versatile, as far as a build philosophy is concerned, okay? So this is how it works, all right? This is how you take it off, right? That's it, right? Done. Put it on your belt, 
uh, take the tech lock off, put it on your neck, whatever you want to do with it, this is ready to use as a separate sheath for, you know, whatever you're going to do, whatever you want to do. Um, and then if you want to put it back on its clip, it's real simple. You just snap it back on and it's, it's there. Very strong. It doesn't rattle. It doesn't, um, when I drop it, you know, it doesn't pop off the sheath. Um, so it's very strong, very versatile, and I love it. Now, this sheath here is probably eight months old, the way it is right now. And I've been testing it and testing it and testing it and testing it. And I am convinced that you guys are going to love this in the field. Okay, I'm convinced of it. Um, now, it doesn't work on every single pair of knives, okay, but most sheaths, I can put this system on. Most, okay. Really small ones, maybe not, okay. Um, you know, like a Mora or something like that. And you'd be hard-pressed to find um, a smaller knife to put on a Mora as a piggyback, okay. That type of thing. But, talk to me. Anything is possible. Go to my website www.yellowhawkcustomkydex.com Look at all the pictures. Look at all the sheath systems that are on there. Okay? I'm pretty sure this quick clip system is on there. Okay? Um, so, I figured I'd do this video, show you guys the system again and again, right? Because I really believe this is something that is going to be well worth it in the field. Okay? And I'm not a huge piggyback advocate, okay? Um, just, just because they're heavy. It doesn't matter. The size of the knife doesn't matter, okay? They're just generally pretty heavy. That's why a lot of times when I do a piggyback, even one like this, and this is only a barely six-inch knife. This is our, uh, our basic multifunction. This is my design, uh, reconfigure your... Um, we did a collaboration, myself and Mike Wallace at Wallace Edge Tools. Uh, he was in on this. And we redesigned my BMF-1 to be this, okay? Very stout uh, French trapper, modern bushcrafter, okay? Um, super steel, sharp 90 degree spine. This is, this is a badass knife. It is, okay? So I built the sheath system for it. I put a Izula 2 piggyback on it, okay? This is a great all-around companion knife that you're not going to spend a whole lot of money on. Uh, I think you can get these for 80 bucks, uh, you know. You might be able to get used for 50, uh, anywhere between 80 and 100, how's that? But decent companion knife for this kind of system. Clicks in there real nice. Um, now I have my, I have my own way about me, my own uh, milieu, I guess, uh, my own inclusive way of doing things, like the shape of my sheaths, okay, the shape of my sheath systems, okay, this shape right here, I've been doing this for many, many years, okay, this particular shape, guys love it, okay, and I see, and I understand, our guys out there are copying the shape, and you know they want to, they want to, um, they want to do. You know most guys want to do what works, right? So there you go, guys. All right, this works, and this one is actually set up as a baldric, where you can wear it on a sling too. Okay, so this has got. Let me think. Um, one, two, three. The clip. One, two, three. Four. The dangler. <clears throat> okay. And now I do my voodoo dangler, which is even more versatile than the, the tabby dangler. See, that's what happens. I try something out. Now, this one lasted a long time, the, the, the tabby dangler. I try it out. It works real well. And then something comes along that works a little better that I'm, you know, like brainstorming, right? And so I came up with the voodoo dangler, right? Um, and it was an inspiration from another sheath I saw somewhere. I can't remember. But... Um, all right, so what I did was I phased out the tabby dangler, and now we do uh, 
the Voodoo Dangler, okay? It's a lot more versatile. It's easier to take off. It's just as strong. Um, it's just a great system for field use, okay? Very convenient. Um, there's several different ways you can wear it. You can put it in this angle here, wear it as a dangler cross draw. I promise you, here we have more versatility than anybody else on the market. I'm confident of that, right? So you can bet that if you have it built by me and you want it versatile, it's going to be versatile, right? You'll be able to carry it six, seven different ways if that's what you want, okay? you got to tell me what you want, though. If you tell me, hey, I just want this, this, and this, that's probably all I'm going to give you, right? I'll quote you a price, and then that's what I'm going to build. Um, but you know what? I'll tell you a secret. A lot of the times, I'll give you something you didn't pay for, right? Usually, if a guy asks for a basic sheath or something, I'll give him a ferro rod. Just give it to him with a holder, right? It's because I think it deserves it. The system deserves a ferro rod. I'll give it to you. And if you don't want to use it, just take it off and throw it in your kit or whatever. It's still a nice piece of gear. Um, so there's the Voodoo Dangler. Give me a really good, really good look at it. Okay? Really good look at it. Alright? And it's great. I love this, this clip because you can't see it. Right? It's like it's not even there until you take it off. And then it's, it's pretty cool looking right it's all right looking very versatile um, if you don't want to um, if you want to keep this off the sheet and use the clip to put things under it you can do that put tinder under there anything you want right um, you know say you got you come across a birch tree right and you want to take some birch bark you just shove it into that clip and it's going to stay there that clip is tight <laughs> <laughs> and it's really thick kydex, like the thickest you've ever seen, right? Um, it's not real heavy, but it's very strong. And I build it out of this stuff because 093 just isn't thick enough, okay? Um, this stuff is very thick, very strong, very cold resistant because it's so thick, right? So... You know, we tested this last year in the snow and ice in Pennsylvania on the Appalachian Trail, and it didn't break. It worked fine. No problem, right? Down to, I don't know, zero degrees, right? So, it works very well. I think you guys are going to like it. If you're looking for something like this, just uh, contact me. Uh, it, it's, it's always best to text me. I'm going to get to you quickly if you text me okay and I mean usually within minutes sometimes within an hour on a rare occasion the end of the day or the next morning or whatever I'll contact you but I'm usually up on it pretty good um, our build time right now is anywhere from eight nine weeks to twelve weeks it depends okay it really does um, however if time is an issue for you I'm willing to work with you, all right? If you need it sooner, then we'll make it happen. So, in some way, shape, or form, we'll get it to you in eight weeks or seven weeks or whatever, okay? If that's what you need, right? I'm asking guys not to take too much advantage of that because then everybody wants their sheath in six weeks, seven weeks, and I just can't do that. It's just not possible. I do this full-time, um, and, you know always refer back to my special ops background I learned a lot in special ops that transfers over to what I do today as far as carrying gear in the most functional lightweight but strong way right and I think that's what I bring to the table here something like that okay this sheath system is as light as it possibly can be right it just is the sheath is not real wide right uh, uh, ooh. I think that's just disgusting a pancake style sheath that's this wide okay and uh, most of them are for for a knife like this okay for a knife like this a pancake sheath 
is going to be at least a half inch wider, if not more. Okay, um, and it's just it's just not needed. They're cumbersome. They're heavy. Um, I don't like them. Right. So I don't build pancake style sheaths. If you want versatility, I can give it to you in a taco. Right. I have my ways. We have ways of making you talk. Yeah, well, that doesn't fit, does it? Anyway, <laughs> we have our vase. Uh, Winterveld! How you doing, Bob? Shout out to Bob, the Grizz. We gotta hit the trail, man. It's getting cooler. I mean, it's, you know, almost mid-August. But I can feel it. I can feel it. You know what I mean? Things are changing. It, we might get another little heat spell, but I think by the end of August, we're going to start seeing some cooler weather, and you and I are gone, right? Hitting the trail, baby. Doing some bushcraft, doing some camping. Stay tuned for those videos. We do them. We post them on the YouTube channel. All right, guys. I think that's it for this video. I'm rambling again. Here's the Zach assembly. Boom, right? This is cool. This is really neat, this assembly. So you don't have to take your belt off. I personally don't mind taking my belt off. This way I know it's secure, okay? And it's not difficult to do. You just thread your belt through, put it, in, put it through your belt lip, and you're done, okay? Um, just is what it is, right? Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's on there. It's on there. Not going anywhere. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. See ya. Yellow Hawk Customs Outdoors. Combat and wilderness grade custom knife and sheath systems. We've got the badass gear for the badass outdoorsman. Yellow Hawk.